Have you ever thought about where your ancestors come from? Where your parents, grandparents, maybe going back many, many generations. Maybe where they came from physically, which you might know, but more than that, the journeys they went on, the adventures they took in themselves, inside as well as outside in their life. Because there's qualities of these that come through to us and not just from the stories we're told, but in another way. So it's about exploring with you today in a place that actually has a link to my family. My name's Cassandra Punita James and this is my vlogs, one of my vlogs for you exploring how we can live this life really, really fully. So today I'm in West Grinstead and it's it's very, very small. It's a tiny little village in, in um, Sussex in England and it's a place I've heard about all my life because there's a link to my ancestors from here. My grandfather was born here, my great-grandfather was the clergyman of this little church and the house just over the other side of the hedge from where I'm standing, my grandfather and his eight sisters were born in. Now that's sort of an interesting history but when we look back at our ancestors, you might notice there's common themes in your family, themes of things that we're learning. And interestingly, a lot of researchers have been, sort of in the, in really in the last 20, 25 years, is starting to realize that it's not just environmental, it comes to us through our DNA. Qualities come to us from our ancestors. So if you think about it, think back to your ancestors, is there themes that run through your family on either side? Maybe they're common, maybe they're very distant. Maybe they've only lived in one area, but that doesn't mean that they weren't going on their own individual journeys. Or maybe they, like my family, as far as we can go back, because I've gone back to the 1600s on both sides, they were like wild adventurers and changing countries and exploring and founding zoos and doing all sorts of things, but they were, exploring inside. So there's qualities that we get from our ancestors and how we get these is it becomes an attachment to our DNA. So this research became really clear when they started exploring DNA for people who've been through intense trauma, who'd been, who were Jewish and went through what the concentration camps, who went through wars, who went famine. And there's a whole lot of research of different groups of people who've been through extreme situations. And they found that their bodies then passed on, went, okay, we, we're gonna survive this. They passed on the predisposition to the next generation of sort of like how to survive it. But it meant that the next generation carried stress and hypervigilance and fear and maybe a hoarding of food and different things depending on what the challenge was. That wasn't necessarily appropriate for their life. But it doesn't have to come through to it this, this way. We can also get the qualities that they earned, like their wisdom, their learning. Their... So if somebody came through a situation like that, that they came through and they found forgiveness or they found courage or they found survival techniques, they can come through to us. So why don't you have a look back through and see what gifts might be coming to you from your ancestors and then put them into use and then looking forward think what you put into action in your life, what courage and what um, strengths that you learn, you master, you then pass them on to future generations. So if you have children, you pass it on to them. And other ways, it's the non-DNA ways that we share ourselves with the world. But explore, have a look at the theme and you might find there's themes and you might find there's themes of wounding and then when you wound fix, and I say this to my clients when they work with me one to one and we're working on something like this, if they really heal something and they heal something down to that DNA level, they might be healing something for previous generations and then for future generations not to carry it. It doesn't mean they won't have their own adventures, journeys, challenges, but you might heal something that's come through your family, time to heal it so you can move on and be different within your group. So explore it. I'd love to you to share below what themes you notice in your family uh, that when you think back you might see something occurring and it might be on one side, it might be through one sex or the other sex, 
but explore it. Share below um, if you think a friend might find this interesting, do share it with them as well. And ciao for now, talk to you again soon.